Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I am in Cliffs of Dover Blitz Desert Wings Tobruk expansion and I wanted to look at one of the campaigns. So let's take a look at the Eagles over Tobruk. Uh, this supposedly takes place May 28th, 1941. Let's jump right in. So I'm going to fly with the famed 3.JG27 above the sands of Libya in the BF 109E7 TROP and the F4 TROP. Alright, here we are in the battle intro. and This is giving us all of our information here. Mission 1, and there's a bunch of text. I just want to jump in there and see what we can do. I would say for the most part loading is pretty quick too, which is nice. And once you've loaded this once, it doesn't take long at all. It zips right through this like one would expect. And here we are again. Looks like they're just repeating the same info. Uh, let's go to player plane. Let's see what I'm in here. Could change my paint scheme a little. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll go with that. I like the visual weathering. Let's turn that up. Now let's jump in here and fly. Alrighty. And we are up. It's really hard to get used to using my track IR to look at the external views, but it looks pretty cool right here. back to the cockpit. Let's take a look around. Nice cockpit detail. If I can get the light to hit it just right. Again, some of the textures are a little bit dated on the sides, but everything in terms of what's there up front is very legible and looks rather nice, as one might expect. Nothing to complain about there. pop up with a map here so I can see what the heck I'm doing. There we are on the map. Of course, I am all over the place. So it looks like we're headed towards Tobruk. Those are some interesting clouds. look kind of weird. But again, this is an older graphics engine, so I'm not expecting uh, everything to be Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 quality graphics here. I stand corrected. Somebody had uh, corrected me and said that Cliffs of Dover Blitz Edition was 2017 and Cliffs of Dover was 2011. And this is Desert Wings Tobruk, the DLC or expansion, if you will, for Cliffs of Dover Blitz Edition. But 2011 or 2017, there's only so much you're going to be able to do with the graphics engine from 2011, so I'll say that. Approaching this uh, busy area up ahead here. Closer to the danger zone here. Oh yeah, there's some flack. These guys are shooting at us. 
I am probably not high enough to properly evade this. So the one thing I'll say, too, that's very annoying is that there are no labels for ground targets in this, at least that I've been able to find which makes taking out ground targets a little bit more difficult. One might say it's more realistic, but I'm going to say difficult. If it's a big target, I could probably find it. If it's just a single vehicle or something, I'm having a real hard time with it here. Looks like we've got some ships over there. whole port's under attack here. Uh-oh, I am diving in pretty fast. Ooh, and I totally missed with my bombs. That's a bummer. Let's try it again. If at first you don't succeed, try not to kill yourself and do it again. Oh yeah, there we go. Got one. Boom. Very nice. Still shooting at me like crazy. Boom. Contact. Didn't quite have the same effect. Too soon. Oh, snap. There goes my wing. Looks like I'm not getting through the first campaign mission. <laughs> but that was super fun. No denying it. So I got a transport ship and I flew the BF 109E7. Battle success? I'll take it. Today, after fierce fighting, forces captured the city of. Chania in Crete, and Commonwealth forces began to evacuate from Heraklon. Nearby, in the Chaos Strait, HMS Hereward was sunk by German bombers. Very good. So, I died, I killed a couple things, and I can move on to the next mission. I'll take that. Now, this is the kind of campaign I appreciate. All right. Two platoons with support from a panzer platoon will attempt to take allied positions in L-13 before the assault. Okay, I have to escort some Stukas as they attack allied positions. Alright. Go back to my plane. Let's see what I've got. I went with that other color scheme last time. Let's try this one. All right. There's all the other 109s. I don't see any Stukas yet. There's a better shot of the cockpit with some real nice lighting hitting it. As you can see, it looks rather nice. There's really nothing to complain about. And once again, there are some things that you can toggle around in the cockpit with a mouse. Very nice. So maybe these blue planes here are the Stukas that I'm looking for that I'm going to have to escort to their mission objective. Yep, there they are. So we're just 
just going to turn and follow them at this point and see what we can do to assist them. Just going to kind of pull in behind them. But yeah, some people are like, they shouldn't have made this. And a lot of people might not be buying this, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, man, th th there are some, you know, bummers about it. Like, look at those clouds. Those look like shit. Um, some of the terrain, you know, in the less populated areas aren't so great. Fair enough. Those are legitimate gripes. But the content they've provided and the number of planes that are in here is really what makes this fun. And I'm really able to jump in here and have a good time with this. And again, having a variety of planes and a variety of missions to fly really is what makes it enjoyable for me. And again, there is the argument that if you have DCS World, you could pay $60 for a single plane and get next to no content with it, be handed it, and be told, go find something to do with that, pal. In here, you've got a ton of content. And again, the missions they've created so far, everyone that I've seen, seem to be really fun. So I'm going to pull ahead of these guys a little bit, and let's see what we can find up ahead, if there's any fighter cover that's going to uh, attack these Stukas and try to keep them from accomplishing their mission. I really need to figure out my uh, camera controls a little better. Right now it's like they're stuck on my uh, track IR. And this plane looks rather nice. The paint schemes they've provided. Not really seeing any kind of threats yet here. Until we get closer to the uh, target area of Tobrick over there, which appears to be the area of conflict. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, I've really, really enjoyed uh, a lot of DCS Warbirds and the graphical uh, splendor that you get with that, and uh, the, the new deferred rendering that IL-2 Great Battle Series has to offer, and uh, it really is super pretty and super fun as well, but what they've done here um, it, it, the, the lack of some of those extra details have not distracted me from having fun. And that's kind of the, the key thing here, because I'm all about having fun. If I'm not enjoying what I'm doing, I'm not doing it. Uh, it's just that simple. You know, there are some things that are just too fucking hard at times, too, in flight sims, and I just go, eh, maybe not. Because I'm the kind of person that, you know, if I've paid X number of dollars for whatever product. Uh, I'm going to enjoy it the way that I want to. And I think that's the, the take everybody else should have with all this stuff, too. You know, Play things on your terms. Have fun with it your way. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. We're getting closer. There's that harbor up ahead. Here we go. There are the hurricanes. Okay, I'll be the first to admit, I've had a hard time nailing a fighter in this so far. I've done pretty good with taking out some of these bombers, but when the AI really starts juking around... There we go. I got one. I will take that and be cool with it. Take them out. Behind 
that was close. Whoa, what's with the bombs? Oh, those might have been my bombs that fell off of me, is my guess. Whoa, I hit him. Very good. I screwed that up. How am I overshooting everything? Is this thing that fast? I am really overshooting these guys bad. Come on, buddy. Took him out. Very good. Maybe I can get behind this guy. Very nice. Uh oh. Yeah, there's one right behind me now. Ditched him. Okay, another one going down. Really hard to see my six in this cockpit. Kind of annoying. All right, boys. I think we've taken care of that fighter cover, and our Stukas can probably go in and do what they need to because we've tied them up pretty good. So the Wingman AI appear to be competent too, which is nice. Because they've been doing their share of thinning the herd here, which is really nice. Sometimes that just doesn't happen in a flight sim, as we would like them to. There we go. Sayonara. <laughs> My bombs keep flying off this thing. Because of how I'm maneuvering, which is fine. Well, it looks like job well done for us. Alrighty. So I got a much better variety of stuff damaged this time out. Destroyed aircraft, aircraft damage, friendly losses. That was me. Battle success. I can move on to the next mission. So before I do that, I just wanted to make a video of the first couple missions. I don't want to sit here all day long and, you know, bore you with, you know, the whole campaign. But um, this is the first few missions in the uh, Eagles over Tober campaign and I just wanted to show you that so uh, I'm gonna continue to cruise through these and put together some videos to show you what's going on within here but overall I'm pretty pleased with Desert Wings Tobrick. Uh I think it's a pretty cool product there, there's a lot of cool content in there. there's a large variety of planes and this is just one campaign of many that you were given so uh, I think it's worth the price of admission if you consider what a single module in DCS can cost at times. Uh, but that's just me. Others' mileage may vary. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to smash that like button. And until next time, guys.